Hey everyone, welcome back. Okay, so we're starting a new game here. Your opponent's playing e4. I'm going to strike fear into the heart of the opponent with d5. Okay. So I'm feeling like really sharp today. And yeah, I got about play here, f5. I think I got like eight plus hours of sleep. So I feel like I'm gonna play well today. So I kinda wanna test my luck and see if I can get to 900 ELO today. I have a feeling I might be able to. I'm playing as black, so. Yeah, I probably won't be playing my best. I tend to do better as white, but okay. I'm trying to understand this knight c5 move. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I want to go... This move has, has me kind of confused. So I want to develop the knight to f6, but at the same time, I want to just try scoping this knight off so the pawn is forced to recapture and then trade queens off. Oh, that was so stupid. How did I miss that? Man, I can't believe I missed that. Oh, that was so dumb. Man, how did I miss that? Why did I not just go c7? Yeah, so you remember the whole thing I was saying about getting to 900 elo? Yeah, that's not going to happen today. <laughs> I mean, I can't even go for the check. It's annoying. Maybe it's not the end of the world, honestly. I'm pretty sure he just can't defend if I go b6. Can't go anywhere. I can't believe I didn't notice that. That was really strange. I think I need to get my eyeballs checked. Pretty sure this knight's a goner. Yeah, no matter where he goes, I'm getting it back. Even if he goes like d8, I'm just going to take it with the king. I, I, I don't think there's any hope left for this knight. Yeah, see, this is fine. Because um, I'm winning a pawn back, so whatever. I'd rather just do that. So I have a check here, but I'm protecting b5. Thing is okay. Bit of a strange opening, but yeah, I have an isolated pawn here on the C file. I really messed up with that with that knight move. I should have went knight B uh excuse me, Queen B6 to start off with. I, I feel really dumb about that. Um so now the debate that I'm having is knight E7 or knight of six. Hmm. Knight e7 or knight f6. I kind of like knight e7 better because I can kind of plant it over here on d5. Whereas, well, let's think about this. I don't think it really matters. Because either, either square that I go to, I can get over here on d5, right? So I don't think it really matters all that much. Hmm. I could try to pin his knight.
I don't think it matters so much. I think I'd rather go F6 because worst case scenario. These, uh, the light square bishop and the knight can work together. And I think I'm just going to castle and then try to get the knight out as well. This knight move is really going to torture me for the rest of the day. Trade-off skis. Kind of tempted to just not do the trade-off skis here. It would be kind of interesting to pin this. Is that any good though? I don't know if trading off is better here. Kind of want to go for the pin, if I'm being honest. How about getting the queen out to f5? Probably no sense in doing that either. Trading off, I don't know. I do have check options here, but I don't think they're very good at this point. But yeah, getting the queen out here. Hmm. Debating, debating, debating. Ah, uh, ideas. I'm burning so much time on this move. It's strange. I don't know. <laughs> I just know I want a castle. Actually, you know what? I kind of regret that. Because now this diagonal is going to get weak. And I feel like I'm going to run into sort of these threats that I that I always see. I'm almost tempted to just trade queens off just so I don't have to deal with this gh file stuff. Yeah, I'm actually really tempted to just offer the trade here and then just connect these two pawns. I'm actually going to go that and just try to fix my C pawn here. I know it's a bit uncanny. See if it works though. What is this icon? No. Yeah. I'm okay with this. And now we're just going to have to make our knights shine. <laughs> what if I castle the queen side? Yeah, there's no point. All right. Wish me luck, boys. All right. Two knights versus a knight and a bishop. So I would say, all things considered, All things considered, how bad the opening was, I'm actually okay with where we're at right now. This is a nice square for the knight. Can also attack the. Can also attack the bishop here. 
on G4. Phone call. I'm back. Okay, so that was a good move by the opponent. I do have a really nice fork here. So only downside is, is that this dark square bishop is defending. So I kind of want to bring the rook out. Try to attack the dark square bishop on e3 here. Let's see, I want to go this way. Okay, now my knight's under attack, so I'm going to have to just keep moving it around. I think, sadly, a6 is the square, the square here. Because if I go c6, um, all these squares are protected. And then... Yeah, I have to get onto the square. I have to get a knight over here. Uh, yeah, sadly I'm just going to have to keep hopping the knight around until I find something. I have to get a knight here. Oh man, that's a really strong move. Yeah, that's a really strong move. I think it feels bad. Well. Darn. So I need the knight here. I know this looks a little cracked. But I'm almost tempted to just give up the rook and go on this three-move adventure with the knight here. Or maybe I just play like a normal human being. Rough. Yeah, this game just got pretty rough. At least it's an even trade, I mean... You know, there's that. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Ah, that was a really good move. That was a really good move. So much for my fork. Well, this game is going to be all about just finding small increments and improvements in the position. Yeah. 
Yeah. I know it's, it seems kind of natural to want to go to f8. But h1 seems a bit tempting because I can kick this rook really easily. I don't know why, but for some reason, H H just seems like a better move. There is still a chance of a back rank made, honestly, if I just double up and go for d1. There's always a back rank mate. Okay, there's not a back rank mate anymore. Um, but I mean, I can kick the rook. Gotta go somewhere. I kind of want to double these up. Yeah, kick the rook. I just need one really good move. That's all I really need. It doesn't have to be too complicated here. The bishop fork was really good. Considering just trading off and simplifying even more, but I don't know, with this pawn structure, it's going to be really tough. Why did I not see that move? Ah. Yeah, it's pretty resignable. Oh, I can't believe I didn't see that. Oh, I didn't see that. Man, that's frustrating. Oh, whatever. I'm going to keep playing. Nice one. Can't believe I didn't see that. It's embarrassing. Yeah, the king and the rook, three squares apart. I should have seen that coming from like a mile away. Bummer. Not going to give up. All it takes is one pawn to cross that board. <laughs> Thanks, friend. <laughs> Chess players are so nice. Most of them, at least.
Probably C1 to prevent C3. And again, I can always go B6. One blunder is all it takes, though. Is he like... That was almost a fork. <laughs> so if I can just find a nice fork... With the knights, I think I'll be okay. At the very least, this wins a pawn. Um, unless he goes just backwards. But even then, I can just attack again. Yeah, it's a good move. Um, this is a doubling up on this pawn. I don't think I can stop that. I think the only way to stop that is to... Maybe go here. Actually, this is pretty good, see, because, um, let me think about this. Because now I have double protection this way as well. Well, I have an attack on a6, but then, um, if he doesn't notice this attack with the rooks here, I can always recapture back with the knight on e6. Should be winning a pawn here. The pawn on b3. He can't protect b6. It's defended by the pawn. Um, yeah, see, so I think... Well, is that a blunder? Not necessarily. It's not necessarily a blunder because there's two attackers here, so I have to continue... I have to continue to defend this pawn. Yeah, I kind of have to block in. It's actually very good, I think. Does that do double attack on the pawns? Hmm. I could move back. Either move up. This is kind of like a kill square here. Hmm. The only problem is I can't trade these pawns off, but yeah, man, if I could get onto this square, or uh, this square, excuse me, that would be pretty sick. Defending with the king here seems really risky. I think I'll just push up. But yeah, the, this f3 square is kind of a kill square here. I may just have to give something up. Ah. <laughs> Damn it.
Advance something, I guess. The F3 pawn is really valuable. And this all started because of that knight on b7. Kind of crazy. Yeah, I imagine that happening. Probably only sensible move is to just move the king. Where's the only viable move? It just sucks that my king is blocked in over here. Going after the pawn. I can push up. Yeah, see, I still have to remain, like, leave two defenders here. And this knight's the only thing that's blocking it in. I have to be really careful about sort of the king and the rook on the same rank. I think the pawn's going to have to go up at some point so we can just get the king moving. I'm not going down without a fight. Interesting move. Well, that gives me check here. Hmm. So close. And that, that does give me a knight g4 next. I don't know if that's good or not, but we'll see, I guess. Uh, this is a bit rough because uh, I'm losing this pawn. So if I move over here, how do I protect this? Maybe I just go make a bigger threat over here. I'm going to make a bigger threat. good move. Well, this removes a defender from the, uh, excuse me, removes an attacker from e6.
I can try to win this. I can try to advance, rather. On e5. I think that's like my best bet. Yeah. I have to keep the rook. Wouldn't it be crazy if there was some mate in here? I don't think that's good. Because my knight can recapture there. I wonder which way I should go, actually. This is really interesting. Hmm. I wonder if it's almost better to recapture this way. Hmm. That's so interesting how my, um, uh, this pawn is really strong here. I wonder which way is better. Really interesting position. Moving the king on the age file. I don't know if that was the best play necessarily. It'd be so funny if I were to be able to advance this pawn. Hmm. There's two attackers here. I don't quite want to take with the pawn. Mm -mm. My knight's going to get pinned on the next move. I think I have to recapture with the pawn here. Mm. He's going to be winning this pawn. Yeah, he's going to be winning that pawn, so I have to go create another threat somewhere. It's okay, actually. Okay. I need to be able to move my king up. I think honestly, if I can just bring the rook over here to f6, move the king over. Nah, would that really make sense though? I don't think it would. Yeah, see, this is actually really good because um, if you want to trade the rook for, for that, I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's king. <laughs> Hmm. Um. Boy, this king here, man. I don't know why. That just seemed like the best move on pinning there. My king is more centralized, which is better. 
and and his king is in a much worse position so that's what we have going here so far hmm Just need one good fork. Like, this would be a beautiful fork if he wants to try to attack on e1. I can just find the fork that way. Here's check. I don't think that's good. Threatening move here. I don't really have a good knight move after this, though. Well, I guess I can come back here. Oh. Yeah, this is rough. I'm going to be losing this pawn. Well, no, I can still protect. The tension is running high. <laughs> I really want to get to 900 with this one. <laughs> Just sack the rook. <laughs> sack the rook, man. Ah, oh, that's a very interesting move. I have a check, but it's not very good. I kind of want to, like, try something here. Hmm. Actually, I think if I go for the check here... Yeah, I think if I go for check on h8, so these three squares, I don't know, but I'm going to be off just by a little bit. Never mind. I want to take that pawn. It's a bit of a risk here. I, I'm, I'm going to play a little bit of a risky move. I think... This is either going to be greater or a blunder, I don't know. Yeah, it was probably a blunder. Yeah, I'm losing this pawn now. Ah. Mm, here's another forcing move. Things okay. It's just removing the two attackers on f5, threatening the rook here. And I have the check here next. I think this pawn's kind of a goner. And then the uh, a4, the a pawn is going to be a really big threat. Now this rook is going to have to move. And then I have check though, and then I can always just take this pawn. Oh, I see. Hmm, it's not very good, right? Still have a threat. Nice. There we go. 
Nice. 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 Let's not pre-move that just in case. Nice. We found it. We found the fork, man. Oh, uh, we got it, bro. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. That's what I'm talking about, bro. This is why you never give up, bro. This is why you never give up. You never resign. <laughs> <laughs> All it takes is just one bad mistake. Ah. Oh. Bro, I can't believe this game swung. <laughs> this is such a sick game to get into 900. I have to just not be an idiot and just find mate now. Okay, let's go find mate. Let's do this. Let's, let's get mate. Let's get mate here. Man, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what a game, dude. <laughs> what, a, what a game to get into 900. Man, I can't believe that turnaround. <laughs> that's crazy. No, this is a this was a really fun game. This is a really fun game. Yeah, see this this is why I I I try to never resign unless it's completely, completely losing. But just being down three points, I just felt like I just felt like if I played safe and just tried to find just one bad move from the opponent. That's all it was going to take, so. Uh, how do we want to do this? I think I just need to find like one in between move, right? What's the way we we do this? Now we go over. Now we go over, right? Yeah, now this force is moving over to B. Now we play here. Bring the king over. Kitten in a bowl. Thanks for teaching me this. <laughs> there it is. Checkmate. This game goes out to Kitten in a bowl. I still owe you a game, but you did teach me this mating pattern. <laughs> so appreciate you if you're watching. <laughs> Man, what a game. Um, I don't have time to do the review. I have to get going. I have to go uh, hang out with my family and everything. But um, man, what a crazy game to get into 904. Um, let me just look at the uh the eval bar. Let me give the GG. Let me look at the eval bar. Yeah, crazy man, such an advantage here. Wow. So let me see the bad move here. Oh, you're right, right, right. The fork. Yeah, the fork was a blunder here. And then I was basically down three for the majority of the game. And then this was just the one bad move. It was attacking, just going after the knight, but then boom, the fork just turned it around and then, oops. Yeah, the fork turned it around, capturing there. 
and then man setting up for another fork right afterwards. That feels so bad. <laughs> but awesome game, awesome game by the opponent. Um, I kept calling her a he. Oh, he. She. She played really well. So what can I say? But yeah, GG. Thanks for the game, malicious Mal, and I'll see you guys in the next one.